Hello, welcome back. Another week, another episode, or two rather, of Avatar The Last Day of Ender. We are finally on season three. We are in the <laughs> we are in the end game. Um, you know, season two is fantastic. Season three, I think, is even that one more step up. It just has like, you know, all the seasons have that like overarching plot, but they also have all their like episodes to like build the story and the characters. Season three just has like the least of that because you have like the invasion, you have all these, like, different, like, parts, you know, you have the Day of Black Sun, like, one and two, I think, you have the Boiling Rock, one and two, you have Sozin's Comet, one, two, three, four, like, you have all these, like, really big, like, not, well, arcs, but, like, big bits that are just, like, more than one episode, you're, so you're, like, fully immersed, and I love it, like, these episodes, like, the whole series is amazing, but, this is just the pinnacle of the show. It's fantastic. We get so much good stuff. I feel like they they upped it. Like, it was already such a good show, and they upped it in the best way possible for the last season. It, it's just, you know, no episode... Well, you know, some of them feel a little, like, happier, and, you know, you have the bad dreams... Uh, daydreams and nightmares, or nightmares and daymares and day... Whatever that episode is, that's a little goofy, but, you know... Overall, a lot of it's very, like, I don't know. There's just something about this season that is taken to the next level. At least compared to, like, most of the rest of the show. But I'm so excited. Like, how can you not be? Season 3 of Atla is amazing. It's so fun. I can't wait for all the big bits. You know, like, weirdly, I just... The thing I can't wait for the most is seeing the White Lotus. They always... Are so cool to me. <laughs> I want to be a part of a secret, a secret society when I'm like an old man. So that is like the coolest thing. Ah, oh, just like in the hints we've had to that over the seasons is fantastic. But um, I need to stop. If you'd like to watch the full length reactions along with me, I have a link to my Patreon down below. Like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Oh hi, Ang. Look at you with your hair. Don't you look so? Like Aang with hair. <laughs> I don't know. A bit dizzy. What happened? What happened? She got fucking shot. Well, you know, by lightning. But still, she got struck. Yeah, this would be really scary. Just like waking up. You know. Thinking you're captured. You hear something? But like... The Fire Nation wanted him alive. Uh, like, wanted him dead, you know? Like, why would they have kept you alive? He's like, Momo? Momo? <laughs> Momo's friends with the Fire Nation, obviously. Your Princess Azula, oh, I kind of like this. I want someone to intro me just anywhere like this. Clever, beautiful, you know, just overthrowing capitals. And together they faced the Avatar. And the Avatar fell. And by Earth Kingdom fell. Azula's agents quickly overtook the enemy. They are all traitors. I can't believe them. Like, do they have no... What is it called? Um, like... Country pride, what's that word? Um, my freedom. I don't know. Oh, I know the word. But these these people have no like care for their own people. I don't know. Those daily agents are the worst people in the series. I'm just saying they betrayed their country. Oh god, you guys need to fire back. God, he is strong. Good job, Toph. Anti trebuchet, Toph. God, it's she's hitting these, and she can't even see. She is amazing. She's the strongest. Oh, and Katara gets to do a little bit of ice bending. Oh God. 
Yeah, go quickly. Thank you, because that was nearly bad. Oh, this is cool. It's crazy how the different bendings just include heating and cooling. Because, like, lava bending is heating earth. They have ice and steam. Like, it's very interesting. I can't just stand by and do nothing. Well, too bad. You're still hurt, and you have to stay secret. Just yeah. Just let us handle this. Fine. You don't always have to do everything, eh? Oh, that smoke screen did no helps. Katara, you need to, like, freeze the whole other ship. The universe just loves proving me wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, you make it so easy. <laughs> the serpent does look sick. I do feel a little bad that all these men died. <laughs> I know they're Fire Nation, but they all probably just drowned. You have been away for a long time. I see the weight of your travels has changed you. Yeah, he's literally like so much older. You're a shit father. Welcome home. But I mean, like, you're like slightly attractive, so like you you suck, but like. I see where Zuko gets his good looks from. Because you're an attractive human. <laughs> I love you more than anything. You and your brother are my entire world. Aw. Yeah, this is a good dad. And every night when I went to sleep, I would lie awake missing you so much it would pick. Oh, stop it. Stop it, I don't want to cry. Oh, he's such a good dad. I Kona, no, you. fuck you. So, uh, watch your face, you. Ozai. You suck compared to Hakoda. Hakoda's a beautiful father. Ozai sucks. You did Treacherous uncle? Fuck you. Fuck you and your really nice cheekbones. Legendary accomplishment. You slayed the avatar. <laughs> you slayed the avatar. <laughs> Good job, Aang. It's the mature decision. Their lava looks so crazy. Looks so, like, gooey. <laughs> I don't know why the lava looks like... Does anyone remember the jelly bath? Like, those ads for that weird thing that you put in a bath? That's what it reminds me of. I don't know why, it just does. Good episode. I feel bad for Aang, but... He has to realise that, like, he can't do it alone. Like, him and Katara just versing Zuko and Azula, he died. Like, he can't do this alone. He needs people. And I feel like it's a trope in a lot of these shows and movies where they go, I have to do it alone. Stop fighting for me. Like, I don't want people to get hurt because of me. Like, you're fighting. I'm on no one in these worlds are fighting for the person's cause. Like... I feel like the main character, it's just like a bit of narcissism in being the chosen one. Where they are like, oh, you know, everyone's everyone's fighting for me. No, this world sucks. Like, there is a force. And the only other one I can think of at the moment is like Harry Potter and like Voldemort. Or you could do like, you know, the capital in the Hunger Games. They're my quick things. And this one is the Fire Nation. They are fucking up the world. The world is not a fun place to be in. They have to fight themselves for their freedom, their ideal version of the world as well. It's not just one person versus the bad forces. Like, they want to fight for their world too. I feel like a lot of protagonists need to understand that. I reckon it would be a really funny show if you had a protagonist that um, was just like, yeah, you guys do it all. You're the one fighting for it. It sounds like it'd um, be like a really bad anime, but it'd be an interesting trope. That the lazy, the lazy protagonist. Um, but yes, let's go. We've got the headband next, an episode I really like, if not just for the ending dance sequence. So let's get into it because it's really cute. I like seeing Aang have a little bit of fun. Wear head coverings indoors. Um, I have a 
have a scar. It's really embarrassing. Very well. What is your At least she gave him that, you know what I mean? Manless colony slob. <laughs> Just slob is fine. Or uh Kuzan. Oh my god, this is so actually this is actually a really sad episode. The way he enjoys being normal. Like normal so much, you know what I mean? Just having like an average life as a kid. Pretty fun. Don't let the headmaster catch you with that monkey. What monkey? Don't worry, I'm not a tattle Thank you. Angie. Stand by the way. Angie, you don't have to babysit the new kid. Wow. Oh my god. You must be one of those popular kids I've been hearing. <laughs> Listen, friend. I know you're from the colony, so I'll say this slowly. Anji is my girlfriend. That's okay. We like someone else. Oh my god. I'd be like, what the fuck's going wrong with your chest? He's meeting you. I don't believe it. He didn't beat you up. Not even a little. Guess I'm just lucky. We were on our way to play hide and explode. Oh my god. Ang. Two. Oh, Ang gets to be a kid. This hurts. Recite the Fire Nation Oath. My life, my life, my life, my fire lord, the forefather, Ozai, fire. Oh my god, that is not the lady I would want to joke in front of. Since it's obviously hilarious to mock our national oath, we'll begin with a. Everyone in the Fire Nation has a stick up there, so far up their asshole. It is not funny. These people all suck. I was just dancing. You do dances here in the homeland, right? Not really. No. Oh my god, they're so boring. Conducive to a proper learning environment. Young people must have rigid discipline and order. But what the Fire Nation sucks. And we're so moved by our love for our nation that we can't control our own bodies. That definitely wasn't must. it. You may march in place quietly next time the urge hits you. Oh god. These kids do not have a childhood. We need to usurp this country. <laughs> this country sucks. Italy. I'm having fun for once. Just being a normal kid. You don't know what it's like, Sokka. You get to be normal all the time. Oh. <laughs> what a what a fucking spear to the heart. If we want to change this place for the better, we need to show them a little taste of freedom. Yeah, that what is true. What possibly do for a country of depraved little fire monsters? Throw them a dance party. Secret dance party. I want to see it. I can't believe we're having a dance party. Well, it sounds fun. It's a bit silly, but I like it. But as a cultural event, celebrating the art of fancy football. I like how they actually shot. And also, why do they not... Like, obviously this is an animation thing, but like... Why would they not dress in, like, not their uniform? Why are they in their uniform at, like, 7 p.m.? And this is how they do it in the ballrooms of Bossing Sing. Yeah, everyone can do this. This is not very hard. Wow, they look pretty good together. Eh, if that's what you like. <laughs> Katara finally showing some, like, interest towards him. Oh, this is really cute. This is like a really sweet thing. Everybody freestyle. Yeah, that's... That's me on the dance floor. Just arms are swinging, legs are moving, don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a big dancer. <laughs> I, I cannot dance. I don't know, eh? These shoes aren't really bright. Nah, too bad. Oh, it's the confidence. This is a like this is one of my favorite scenes, maybe the show. I love it. I think it's so cool. I don't know. It's just so fun and like amazing. It just shows like it's got so many layers of like their relationship. Okay, Rizlord. <laughs> okay, calm down. There's like the Fire Nation, their like connection to each other, what they want to show, their athletic ability, their ability to like, you know, 
just work with each other. It's fantastic. Because this is like a training fight sequence for them. Why are they so athletic? <laughs> wow. You guys looked great out there. Oh, fuck you guys. I love it how it's like the most innocent thing ever. Oh yeah, the sprinkler. I can... <laughs> Is that the sprinkler? Yeah, because you're like back and forth like a sprinkler. Yep. Yeah. He's the one we want. The boy with the headband. The boy with the headband. Disappearing. I love this too. This is this shows like I feel like they changed all the kids. Like he had Aang had an impact on these Fire Nation kids, and it was really sweet. Yeah. You taught them to be free. I don't know. It was just a dance party. That no, it was really cool. Dance party on. Oh. Play me, oh sir. Play me. Oh. See, I like. I feel like this is why I really. Oh wait, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the assassin at the end. Sorry. Let me just. Let me watch this first. Hi, Spucky, Spucky, Boom Man. Have you? What you do. I mean, better at keeping secrets. Yeah, he doesn't talk. I want you to find him and end him. I want to know more about the lineage of combustion benders. They interest me. Like, what cult do you have to be in to get that thing on your head? I this episode is, I think, like actually for me, like a really like high episode on my like like my own like tier list of episodes that I like should I do at the end of Avatar should I do a tier list of all the episodes is that something anyone would watch I don't even know if people make it to the end of my videos but like let me know because that'd be great um but it's just such like a fun nice sweet it, it really shows some like different perspectives on the Fire Nation like some average like some normal lives in the Fire Nation how like all the old people suck, like, it's very, like, sad, and how, the, like, the future needs to be changed for these kids, so they can grow up with, like, happiness, or it's just gonna, like, you know, the cycle. And it's really sweet to just see how Aang is trying to change things on, like, big scales and little scales, and he cares about, you know, people's freedom and their happiness and their spirit. Uh, it's just such a good way of showing you know, a lot about Aang and the gang and what they want, but also, like, how change should come about. It should be big scale or small scale, and you have to think about lots of different things when doing, like, a movement, like, overthrowing the Fire Nation or, like, you know, killing their leader. It's, it's like, there's a lot of big ideas and small ideas in this, and it just, it's packaged in this, like, really nice, sweet episode, I think. It just makes you think. And then, I mean, there's a whole stuff with Iroh, but I won't go into that because I'll cry. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really sweet. And the first episode was good. I, I, I get why Aang didn't want to be a secret, but I'm happy he made that mature choice of being like, this is something I have to do. It makes sense for me. And seeing uh, Katara with her father was really sweet as well. Um, but yeah, really good episodes. It was like, this starts a really strong season, especially for me, I think, with these episodes. But yeah, I, I can't wait for the rest of it. I'm very excited for the rest of this season. I hope you are too. I hope you enjoyed and are having a good day. And I hope to see you in the next one.